Hi everybody. We seem to be having a little bit of trouble on the U4A3 uh, quiz. Um, the one that's based on the worksheet for all of the combination problems. So I've done a couple of things to help you guys out with it. Uh, for starters, I've made it three attempts. Uh, and if you need more, just contact me. I have also uh, put it down from 80% to 75% because that represents 9 out of 12 on the quiz score in order for you to see the next um, lesson. And I have extended the deadline um, for the quiz until next Monday. And if you need more time, just email me, okay? So the, the biggest issue, I think, um, is that there seems to just be a little bit of misunderstanding with some of these um, assignment problems. And I know some of them didn't have answers, um, or they didn't have answers provided because I used them as quiz questions, and I didn't want to give you the answers ahead of time. So I thought what I would do is just choose one that seems to be a little bit of a problem on the quiz and go through it with you and show you how to do it. And I'm hoping that you can transfer um, from here to some of the other problems that you're having trouble with. And if you're still having trouble, please email me and I'll make you a video with the ones that you're having trouble with and, and help you out, okay? So if we have five cards dealt from 52 and we want four hearts, then we know that uh, in a deck of cards there are 13 of each suit, right? And so if we want four hearts, and that means that we only have 13 cards that we can choose those four from. And then for the fifth card, we have to choose from the remaining 39 cards, the ones that aren't hearts. And we only have to choose one of those because the four um, plus the one will make the total of the five cards in the hand. So if we use 13, try, choose 4, um, then we get 715, and uh, 39 choose 1 is just 39, and so the total number of ways there is 2,000, or, sorry, 27,855 ways of choosing uh, a hand with 5 cards that contains 4 hearts, okay? Um, so. I'm hoping that that helps. That's actually question eight on the quiz, and so if you're getting that one wrong, now you know how to do that one. When you see the ones and they say at least two or no more than two, then you have to do those a little bit differently. Um, like question nine asks about no more than two face cards. So with face cards, there are only 12. Um, just to get you started on that one, if we have 12 face cards, we can choose either zero face cards, um, and they are asking for five cards to be dealt, so that would mean that we would then be multiplying by 39, uh, sorry, no, 40 this time, 40 choose five, because they would all be other than face cards. If we choose one face card, then we would have one from the 12 face cards and four from the 40 remaining cards, and so on. And now you need to add up all of those uh, different arrangements in order to get the number of arrangements that would have um, up to two face cards, because up to two means zero, one, or two. Okay, so be careful of, of the wording with some of those questions. And if you're not sure when you're working through the assignment and you're, and you're stuck on one, you can send me your answers to look at and I'll let you know if you're on the right track. So I hope that helps and please email me if you need more help.